What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And to everyone's surprise, we did get update 1.09 today. Which is funny because I just made a video a few minutes ago talking about how the Take-Two CEO said the, the game in the online beta form was about to be out of beta very soon. And did he mean very soon? Because that was just yesterday that he said that. So we're going to get right into this because there's a good bit of changes. I will link two different things down in the patch notes below. One is kind of a trailer uh, showing off the new stuff within Red Dead 2 Online. The other is some more in-depth patch notes. I'm going to kind of hit the high points, so definitely read over these patch notes for yourself. Uh, there's new co-op missions and Land of Opportunity story missions. Of course, we kind of knew that was coming, kind of continuing the story where you're helping Mrs. LeClerc. Also, new uh, free roam missions. Free roam missions are also expected to have new characters, and the story of Red Dead Redemption 2 is a variety of new and diverse mission types they're gonna have a posse versus challenge where you can do the uh, such, such missions as the biggest fish contest bird shooting contest or either gathering the most herbs so kind of like an herb picking contest and these are things that each posse leader can kind of go into the menu and trigger kind of a, uh, a posse competition against another group also dynamic events uh there's going to be kind of characters travelers townsfolk that will be looking to either help you or prey on you either way but kind of this is kind of keep a sharp and keen eye this and these encounters can offer xp honor cash and even gold rewards they're adding poker into the game where you can go play a private game of with just your friends of texas hold'em or even go or either go to a public table and buy in this is all po poker tables seat up to six players available in five locations blackwater st dennis tumbleweed valentine and flat neck station the overrun showdown mode is going to be a new mode that is added in as well the lamat revolver and new clothing items as said plus more it says the lamat revolver is boasting a nine round revolving chamber as a secondary barrel for a single buckshot round so this thing sounds pretty awesome in my opinion in addition all players who jump into red dead online this week will get a gift of 15 gold bars and see 15 or 25 percent increase of xp on land of opportunity free roam mission shadow mode oh showdown modes excuse me races and free roam events treasure hunters will also find 25 percent extra cash gold and chest or cash and gold in chest that will contain those items the ultimate edition owners will also get a gift of 100 bucks and the throat slit emote for free now they did add the new play styles which a lot of people were wanting this is to be more of a passive mode idea the offensive mode is pretty much how you've been playing the game already so just think of the offensive play style if you select it is just how you've been playing red dead online already the defensive play style is for those who want to explore the world in free roam and engage in less conflict with others it is designed to let other players know that you don't want to tangle with them so you're going to have a certain shield emblem beside you so other players will know that as well as minimize opportunities to get griefed or for grieving you know so people aren't just annoying you while you're just out trying to fish or hunt at the same time defensive players will not be alerted to pvp free roam missions and cannot be pulled into them while in defensive mode also, if you are in defensive mode and you try to cause a conflict with another player, if you start that conflict, you will be immediately pulled out of defensive mode and receive hostile penalties. It says if someone starts to grief you, starts to try to kill you, bother you over and over, they will receive a very stiff penalty because you are in defensive mode. So I know a lot of people are going to be happy for that. Uh, some other things they did with the hostility system, of course, with the update they did back in February, they continue to work on it and this was part of that uh they removed the auto aim headshot tracking it's going to be enemy players only faster weapon swaps new control scheme after they've listened to the community they've done some new control schemes within the settings daily challenge updates new rewards it says several new rewards or awards in free roam global signal timers press charges horse selection uh for kind of whatever you want to do you can have certain horses selected for free roam races showdown modes and more increased gold and payouts this is what the best thing that out of all of it to me besides the two modes of offense and defensive kind of modes it says everything now is going to pay out pretty much double what the previous amount was and starting today for a limited time players will also receive one gold bar per rank for their progress also some bug fixes for 
issues with save data and all that kind of good stuff. Hopefully the crashing issues when you're logged, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but when you're logging in, playing, it'll just kick you offline and it's hard to get back on. So hopefully those have been fixed as well. But guys, this was some big changes and a big surprise in my opinion. And hopefully we'll continue to get these great updates for the online mode and single player. And this game can turn out to be absolute sensation overall going forward. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.